Happy Friday everyone. It's fine wine time at Help for Hospitality and today I'm going to be comparing these two Bordeaux blends. These have more in common than they have differences. They're both from the same vintage. They are made with a large slug of Cabernet Sauvignon and they're both second wines, meaning that they are made from the, the lighter, more approachable lots from their respective estates. Those estates have serious pedigree. Confidence de Priere Lachine is a fourth growth in Margot in Bordeaux, and the Lachine, after which it's named, is Alexis Lachine. His son Sasha ran the estate for a while before going off to create a wine you may have heard of called Whispering Angel. Othello comes from Dominus Estate in the Napa Valley, run by Christian Moix, who happened also to oversee production at Chateau Petrus. So there's serious talent in these bottles. So what about the differences? Well, of course, they're from different places. Bordeaux and Napa have a lot in common, but they're not identical. The soils are different, the weather patterns are different. But I think sometimes people can get a little hung up on the, the differences between old world and so-called new world wines, especially at this level, where in fact they do have more in common. It's a little bit like music. If you compare this piece, for sure. In particular, they're evocative of their respective countries of origin, but at the same time, there's a huge cultural crossover there. The, the musical language is really, really similar in a lot of ways, and they're maybe expressing a similar romantic idea, uh, just with a different inflection. It's the same with these two wines. At least, I hope so. Better taste them to make sure. So, Confidence de Priere de Chine really attractive nose. It's open, six years old isn't all that much for Bordeaux, but as a second wine you can get into this quickly. And 14 is a really lovely vintage, classical in structure and approachable at this point at certain levels. Lovely architecture of Cabernet Sauvignon there, but it's rounded out by that fleshier, plummier Merlot in the blend. So it gives a lot of pleasure. It's not austere like some Bordeaux can be. I think this is a really, really delightful wine. It's got classical leanings, but a lot of deliciousness. Beautiful. Othello, a bit darker in color. More intensity of fruit on the nose. Just as open, just as pleasing, but more black currant, less plum and strawberry. That's what you'd expect because there's more Cabernet. And what's lovely there is that there's a real leafy kind of refreshment value to it as well. It's not just fruit, it's not that caricature American wine, the subtlety, the savouriness, there's that leafy lift but grounded in a wine of really delicious richness. A different style for sure but kind of an expression of the same idea. The best thing to do of course is buy both. If you appreciate one, you enjoy the other all the more. They're complementary. So why not treat yourself? and you won't be the only one to benefit. After all, we're giving 12.5% of all sales to the hospitality sector, so to put it bluntly, the more you spend, the more we give. Buy some fine wine as soon as you can from Help Hospitality. Cheers.